Welcome back to the channel guys. I hope you guys are great. I hope you guys had a great day. I hope the Ramadan is going well for you guys. So we are training chest and tricep today. A little brief before we go to the gym and work out. So we have three exercises for our chest and then two exercises for our tricep. Previous week the split was different. We just uh, trained shoulders and, uh, shoulders and chest. But this week the split has been changed. We are training chest and tricep. So again guys, the way I like to structure my chest workout is I would start off with a, a exercise that targets my lower chest on one week and then another exercise that targets my upper chest on another week. So if you guys haven't watched the previous chest workout, it's there. You guys can always refer to that. But so for today guys, we are targeting our lower chest being the first exercise and then we move to upper chest and then we move to the final isolation exercise and same goes to the tricep guys we we have two exercises for our tricep one is going to be for the mass building of our tricep and the another one is going to be uh, just an isolation exercise where we can max out and uh, just get a good pump on the tricep i hope you guys are ready i hope you guys are following me throughout the program so without wasting any time i'll see you guys in the gym right now it's already uh, 2 30 now so the workout won't take long we can get over with the workout in about one hour. So without wasting any time, we'll just quickly move to the gym. All right, guys, we are in the gym. The warm up is done for our shoulders and chest. Now, the first exercise is going to be a flat dumbbell press. Uh, haven't done this in a while. So just felt like doing this. We're going to go four sets. I've already done one warm up set. We got more four sets. There will be one more warm up set, then three working set. The, rep, the target reps should be around 6 to 10 uh, and we're going to go about 90% of our one rep max for reps. So without wasting any time, let's just start it. All right, guys, time for our first working set. Again, guys, the target reps will be around 6 to 10 slow and controlled reps. Try to squeeze at the bottom and Right, guys uh, for the first working set we did 22.5 kgs this is the second working set so we are doing 27.5 kgs and for last i think i'll do 30 six to eight reps slow and eccentric let's do it I'm doing this exercise after a few weeks I was mostly focusing on machines so the balancing part is quite difficult but I'm getting a good pump just because I got enough sleep I'm getting good pump 
and I'm in a mood to work out today. Just to one hour sleep can make a lot of difference, guys. And as what I used to do when I used to, anytime you're about to go to the gym, just take a 20 minutes or 30 minutes nap before you actually show up in the gym. And trust me, guys, that just one nap before the gym is going to change your workout like anything. All right, guys, third and final set. You're gonna make the most out of this, most out of this. The target reps will be six to ten, and the and we will try to hit ten reps on these uh, with the eccentric. Let's just hope we get this. Only line reps on flat dumbbell press. Anyways, guys, we'll move to the next exercise, which is going to be a pinata unilateral or isolateral uh, split machine press. I, I can't even explain the machine right now because um, this is my first time actually using this machine for my chest. So let me just show you guys. This is the machine that I was talking to you guys about. This is by far the best machine for your shoulders, for your chest that I have personally tried. So we are doing the incline press on these. So as you guys see, this is individual handles for uh, each arm and that you have to balance. And there, there is a good rod that controls and makes the movement like a Smith machine. So first set on these, I've just added 15 kgs each side just to see how I feel. Because this is the first time that I'm using this for chest. I've done this for shoulders and the pump was crazy. So I'm hoping the same for my chest. So without wasting any time, let's just start with our first set. So you grab the handles and you guys see there's a lock. So you press up, okay. So you press up, unlock. Two more. One. Two. So as you guys see, it takes a little time to understand the machine and how the movement works. But I think I can, uh, I'm getting used to it pretty easily. I'm gonna add more five kgs on these and then do the second set. If the weight feels light, we're going to add 10 kgs and complete the third set. But for now, let's just add 5 kgs. All right, guys, time for the second set. 5 kgs on each side. The target reps will be 10 to 12 or the maximum we can. Let's go. One more. Ah. Ah. Final set on the machine. We failed at uh, 10 reps, I guess, in the previous set. 
we'll try to do 10 more reps because right now the pump is so much that I think my chest muscles are already exhausted but anyways guys we got one more set and we will go all out Four more. One. Two. Ah. Oh. The only uh, problem that I have with this machine is there is no safety bar. I mean, there's no uh, no such thing where you can just put it. So even if you fail on certain rep. There's something to drop the weight on. Like they have small uh, safety bars or the safety locks on the Smith machine. Uh, that's all I think uh, it's missing from the machine. But overall guys, the machine is solid. The pump is good. And I think we're gonna use this machine to make a lot of gains. All right guys, third and final exercise for our chest is going to be cable flies. So, uh, the, the, the way we did in the previous video was to come up over here. Right now, I'm going to do the old classic way, which is going to be down here. So, I'll just show you guys. Um, again, guys, starting off with three plates on each side uh, because the machine is solid. And I want quality reps rather than just going crazy with the weights. So, this is how the form is going to look like. really targeting your lower chest and your side chest on these uh, just make sure you keep your chest up during the entire rep and that's gonna help you guys uh, contract your muscles more all right guys time for second set i've gone up on the weights uh, four plates on each side 12 to 15 reps uh, is the target weight focusing on good form and trying to get the most out of the technique. So, second set, it comes. I can give you guys one tip to build your chest it's going to be avoid doing five to six exercises for your chest and just focus on mastering two or three exercises this is what I recommend this is how all of my clients train we focus uh, majorly on perfecting on making two three exercises perfect and really getting used to the form and technique of those exercises and eventually guys by the time you guys master those exercises you end up not only being strong but you guys end up having good form your lifts are going up you guys are injury free because your muscles are so used to that movement and you've mastered so much so 
is a quick tip for you guys. Third and final set on this exercise. And this will be the last set we do for, your, for our chest. And after this, we'll move on to our tricep. So last set, best set, you're gonna make most out of this, even add some partials if needed. drop set just to complete so guys we'll do a drop set just to complete the missing reps same guys 10 to 15 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 That is it for our chest moving to our triceps. Ah. Guys, first exercise for our tricep is going to be a dumbbell overhead press, a dumbbell French press, whatever you want to call it. Uh, three sets of these 10 to 12 reps, two second eccentric, uh, and that's how you complete uh, your sets. So we'll do first set. I'm uh, actually using a lightweight right now just to warm up my triceps properly because before we move to heavy weights so first set 10 to 12 reps First set, I think I can go pretty heavy on these, but doing this seated really takes the movement out of your body. So, two more sets on these, and then we move to the final exercise for our tricep. Guys, second set, 10 to 12 reps. Let's go. To be honest guys, French, French press is one of the exercises that can get your tricep bigger. I consider this exercise uh, as a mass builder for your tricep. And over the years guys, if you stay consistent, you'll have amazing result just by doing this exercise. But while training your triceps or arms, it's always mm, a plus point to add one isolation and then one free weight exercise. And that's how we are programming all of all of our workout and that is the approach that i take uh, with my training with my clients and we end up having great results with this so anyways guys third and final set i just did 20 kgs i'm gonna go up up to uh, 25 kgs and then and that will be the last set all right guys third and final set 10 to 12 reps let's do it
six, ah, uh, seven, eight, ten. Be careful with the weights, guys. Alright, guys. The final exercise for our tricep is going to be a cable push down, 12 to 15 reps, three sets, and that is it for today's workout. So let's do the first set. So guys, rather than doing three sets, I think I'm going to exhaust my tricep and destroy them completely with a drop set. Rather than doing two more sets, we'll just do a drop set. So I've gone up on weights uh, dramatically. It's about 50, 55 kgs on a push down. And then we're going to drop the weights about 25 or 30 kgs and then do another 12 to 15 reps. So here comes the drop set. Another 12 to 15 reps and we're done for the workout. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty. That is it for today's chest and tricep workout. So guys, the workout is done. I think the workout was pretty good for today since I got enough rest and I was about to lift heavy. Uh, given the fact that guys, we are still on a low calorie diet, I think I'm getting bigger. I can already see a good change in my physique that I'm getting bigger. And also guys, I think I've lost about one kg now. And it's been seven days for Ramadan. I guess, uh, no, it's been six days. So it all comes down to how you guys maintain your calories and the food that you put uh, in your body. I remember my coach long back used to tell me that, uh, I think I think this wasn't his original, but it was something like that. Uh, your body is like a transparent bag and whatever you put into it, it's gonna show. So whatever you're gonna eat, you're gonna look like that. If you're eating salad, grilled chicken, you're obviously going to be lean. And if you're eating junk food, then definitely, guys, you're going to be overweight and look like a junk food yourself. So that is it for today's workout, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying. I hope you guys are enjoying the workout. I hope you guys are having fun with the workout. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, and share the video and support your brother out. I'll see you guys in the next vlog for tomorrow. And until then.